Debris from Nick's car. The police didn't clean up very well. The car went up like kindling. It was pretty intense judging the damages to the area. Maybe Nick tried to avoid this log. It's a bit far from the road. An animal came through here. Maybe that's what surprised Nick. But the tracks don't reach the road. Fuel stain. From Nick's car? Was it leaking fuel? Nick took this turn every day. It shouldn't have surprised him. Two of the road signs were torn out. Did Nick's car do that? The fire shouldn't have been able to spread that far. Bark got badly burnt. Must be where Nick crashed.
Best to leave her alone. It's a lot to take in. Debris from Nick's car. The police didn't clean up very well. The tire tracks clearly show where Nick's car went off the road. These road signs are intact. Not a scratch on them. No skid marks. No trace of sudden braking. That piece of wood must be from one of the damaged road signs. That's all the information I need. Time to put everything together. The report states Nick was driving under the influence of alcohol. He was startled by an animal. And drove through a road sign before crashing into a tree. don't add up.
How could the signs have burned during the crash then? Only one simulation fits the evidence. The police report was wrong. thought you quit. I did. So, did you find anything? Nick, he was murdered. I'm sorry, I don't... The police report was clearly wrong. Fucking... Anna? Here, just... Joe, it's Sam. Where's Anna? Is she okay? Yeah, she's right here. She's just a bit busy. I need her to come back immediately. There's been a break-in at her place. What? Are you all right? What happened? I wasn't there when it happened. Just arrived. Called the police, then called my daughter. We're on our way. Someone broke into your house. Okay, so, about Dad. Don't tell him what we found. Please, it'd just worry him for no reason. How are you holding up? After finding out what we found out. I'm guessing about as well as you. Not great. Let me go calm my father down. I'm pretty sure he's ready to call the National Guard. Anna, maybe give her a few moments with Joe before you barge in. Also, take a few moments for yourself, as well. You used to live here, and now, some other guy, Nick, of all people, was living here. With her. Things are different. She's different. You're different. I think I can handle this. Hopefully. Keep in mind, Sam, no matter how much you want to, you can never go home again. Last time I was here, I was shoving way too many boxes into a trunk that couldn't fit them all. It's, it's fine, Dad. I can handle this. Someone broke into my daughter's house and you want me to just sit by and wait? Yes, that is exactly what I want you to do. Don't you have an appointment? I always have an appointment. I'm with the doctors more often than I'm home. Sam, talk some sense into my daughter here.
I'm gonna have to side with Anna on this one. Can't miss appointments. Just because I'm an old man in a wheelchair, you two think you can push me around. <laughs> Dad, I love you. And I love that you want to protect me, but please, it'll be okay. Go to your doctor's appointment. The police will be here soon. I'm just belly aching. It's your house, your rules. I'll leave you to it. Thank you. So before I head off, Sam, you tell me if something was going on, right? Anna's brave and she's strong, but she's also stubborn. Dad, I told you I can take care of myself. And I'm old enough to know when things ain't right. You tell me now, Sam. You tell me if my little girl is in danger. I can't watch over her anymore, so I need you to keep her safe. Stop talking about me like I'm not here. Joe, I don't know. Should She's I... all I have left. Promise me you'll protect her. I need your word. Wow. Heavy. Joe's really laying on the paternal guilt. I can't promise something like that. I don't know what might happen. He just wants to feel like someone is looking out for her. I can't blame him. And what if I can't keep that promise? Then refuse. All I know is I personally couldn't say no to a desperate father. I still can't hide anything from you. Sam, don't. I won't lie, Joe. There is something going on. It could be dangerous, but I'll make sure Anna doesn't get mixed up in it. All right. I'm trusting you on this. I'm not some kid. I decide what I get mixed up in. You can't blame me for looking after you. I just didn't want you to worry. You're both so patronizing. I'm heading inside. See how bad it is. I need to get in there eventually, but maybe I should look around the property first. It's Bugs. She probably brought it over one time when she came with Nick. Anna and I spend our nights out here, trying to find all the constellations. Anna never got rid of this sign. I think the happiest I ever saw Anna was the day she bought this place. to know this house is sold. You're mine. I own you now. <laughs> it might be 200 years before it's paid off, but it's mine. So, when can I start moving my own stuff in? After you finish carrying all my stuff in. Sure, but that means I get to choose which side of the bed I'm sleeping on. What? No! You're gonna sleep on the side closest to the door. Why is that? So, if someone breaks in, you can fight them off. And maybe because I like being near the window. Somehow I feel like it's entirely the second thing and not at all the first. <laughs> we can talk about all this after my stuff's inside. But all your stuff's so heavy. Which is why I need your help. Don't slack, Sam. <laughs> this house isn't gonna decorate itself. 
and I want you to be part of that. I used to follow it down to the shack every other week for Fishing Sunday. Sent from a mourner. Anna probably couldn't handle taking it inside. Anna is not well. This time, at least, try to be there for her. Anna? Um, Anna, are you, are you okay? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say no. She needs you, buddy. Needs me? I don't even think she knows I'm here. What am I supposed to do? Something. Anything. It's the thought. The effort. Get her a drink. Just show her you're here. I'm not sure how a drink will make her feel better about murders and break-ins. But I guess I've heard worse ideas. She kept the drinks in the kitchen, in one of the pantries. She normally keeps some drinks in the pantry. It's been a while, Sam. Things have changed around here. You feel like looking at old keepsakes? Ah, here's where she keeps the drinks. On the bright side, I don't think it's possible to make her feel worse. You're not helping. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. Thanks. <laughs> Who takes the time to have a drink in the middle of a break-in? Lime juice. Still something you like? That's sweet. I'd assumed you'd already gone to look around and, I don't know, think. This is just... 
This is just so fucked. Nick, my house? Sam, you should distract her. Get her talking or thinking about anything else. My stuff, everything is trashed. Is this like the worst coincidence? Or is it related to Nick's death? Did his murderer break it? You're not alone. Here, have a drink. It'll help. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. It's helping a bit. This feels like the only part of the house I recognize. And whatever punk broke in here wrecked it. Good thing it's intact. It's about the last thing Anna has of her mother. Sam, what are you doing? I called for dinner like a dozen times. It's gonna get cold. I am not your mom, you know? Working on an article is no reason to ignore basic politeness, Sam. Fine. You can eat your dinner cold for all I care. I'm done waiting for you. Finally, there. I know you want to help her by finding out what happened. Right now, though? Stay focused on Anna. She needs to know she's not alone.
Hey, are you feeling better? Yeah. Thank you, Sam. Sorry, I just kind of lost it for a second there. Yeah. I mean, careful, Sam. You know you can be indelicate. She needs your support right now. I mean, it hasn't been an easy week, you know? And I've got the feeling it isn't over yet. Whatever happens, you're not alone. We'll face it together. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I needed to hear that. Reminding her she has people to lean on is a great start. This whole thing is a mess. But honestly, it's been a mess for a while. Like, everything was fine, you know? Nick moved in, it was nice, but lately he just closed himself off. He'd been gone most nights, at the bar or the fishing shack, come home late refusing to talk about his work. It got unbearable. It was almost like I was living with you all over again. It doesn't feel good, but she needs to get this off her chest. Don't be too harsh on her. You're right. I shut you out, and I'm sorry. The past is the past. None of what's happening now is your fault. I'm just lashing out. It's just having you in the house, it's... It's bringing back a lot of things. We had a good time. So many memories here, both bad and great. We did have a good time, yeah. But then came Dad's accident. The mine investigation. Your proposal. I still feel horrible about how it all happened. But you... You understand why I said no, right? You didn't want a ring. You told me before. I thought it was what you're supposed to do. I thought maybe it'd save us. That's a nice thought. I feel like you're listening now. And I thank you for that. You know? It ended so abruptly, you and I. I don't think I ever took the time to really process what happened. I wonder if it would have ended the same way with Nick. If my relationship with him was as doomed as my relationship with you. The way Nick closed himself off to me the last few weeks. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I can't bear to live with someone, to truly share my life, to make compromises and all that. I'm not Nick. Stop comparing us. He may have been your boyfriend, but Nick was my best friend since we were kids. This is hard for me too, you know? I, I know you didn't mean it like that, just... Calm down, Sam. If you start spiraling now, this isn't gonna end well. Just, he was my best friend. It still hurts. It doesn't matter anyway, now does it? He's dead, and whatever we had is done. And we're on our own if we're gonna find out who killed him. I'm not backing down from this, no matter what we find. What about you? Yeah, I mean... You can count on me, Anna. We're in this until the end. That's good. That's really good. Let's see this to the end, and... Well... We'll see what happens when we get there, right? Whatever happens, we're in this together. Can you take a look upstairs? I still need a moment. Let me make sure I'm done crying and all that. Take your time. I'll tell you if anything's wrong. Thanks, Sam. I remember taking this photo, not seeing it like this, it's not what Anna needed. 
The door is closed. Huh. She never used to lock it. As if her week wasn't bad enough already. I should erase it. But then the police wouldn't get the burglar's handwriting. Why is it so dark in here? This room feels so different now. It felt like mine once, but it never was. This room feels so different now. It felt like mine once, but it never was. I asked Anna what this was once, and she laughed at me. I still don't know what it is. It looks like Joan's using this room now. Anna must have been letting her use it when she stayed over. Got the A, corrected the teacher, but still forgot the date. <sighs> Mr. Unicorny. Well, you and Joan have been inseparable since the day she was born. Not your standard thief. Too destructive. Oh, maybe trying to send a message? You piece of junk. I know you're awake. No, I'm not. Then how are you talking? I'm a celebrated sleep talker. Come on, get up. I need your help. Did you try rebooting it? That's honestly all I got. I have tried that. If I don't get this done by noon, Walter won't run the article. What do I do? Okay, okay. Let me see it. Thank you. It just won't respond to anything. Do you want a back rub while you work? As your hero, it's the least you could do. I'll do more than that, my white knight. Oh, you will, my princess of the typefaces. Of course, when you fix it. As far as Bug was concerned, this was her real house. I saw you still have some of my old things. 
<laughs> well, it's not like you left a forwarding address. Careful. Don't put her on the spot. No, I mean, it's nice. I thought you would have thrown them out by now. Sam, those things are memories. Tossing them out would be like erasing the past. I guess I'm just sentimental. Anyway, if you want any of it back, you know where it is. I imagine Joan spent some time here with her dad. Was she over a lot? Pretty much every time Nick had her. Yeah, I don't think she ever really warmed up to me. Don't let it get to you. She doesn't like many people. She likes you. She used to. Not sure that's true anymore. To her, you were taking time away from Nick. She was never gonna be nice. And now, with Nick gone, she feels like we're letting her down again. I'm aware. I know how hard it is to lose a parent at her age. I'll be right back. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. This used to be her old bed. First thing she bought when she settled in. Not your standard thief. Too destructive. Oh, maybe trying to send a message? Not the smartest decision, but Anna deserves a break. I remember taking this photo, not seeing it like this, not what Anna needed. The door is closed. Huh. She never used to lock it. It looks like Joan's using this room now. And I got the A, corrected the teacher, but still forgot the date. 
Mr. Unicorny. Well, you and Joan have been inseparable since the day she was born. Not your standard thief. Too destructive. Oh, maybe trying to send a message? This used to be her old bed. First thing she bought when she settled in. Junk. I know you're awake. No, I'm not. Then how are you talking? I'm a celebrated sleep talker. Come on, get up. I need your help. Did you try rebooting it? That's honestly all I got. I have tried that. If I don't get this done by noon, Walter won't run the article. What do I do? Okay, okay. Let me see it. Thank you. It just won't respond to anything. Do you want a back rub while you work? As your hero, it's the least you could do. I'll do more than that, my white knight. Oh, you will, my princess of the typefaces. Of course, when you fix it. As if her week wasn't bad enough already. I should erase it. But then the police wouldn't get the burglar's handwriting. Why is it so dark in here? This room feels so different now. It felt like mine once, but it never was. I asked Anna what this was once, and she laughed at me. I still don't know what it is. Huh? Is someone downloading something off Nick's laptop? I think whoever trashed your house just trashed me. Can you stand? Yeah. Yeah. The headache isn't as bad as the one I had this morning. I couldn't get a good look at them. They just sprinted out of the house, and I heard some weird, loud engine drive off. Well, whoever it was, they were dumping data off Nick's computer. I must have interrupted them. There's no trace of whatever he took. So what do we even do now? We need Nick's backups, if he has any. Did he ever do anything like that? Boxes in the attic, files to the cloud, another computer? Did he have anywhere besides here and the basswood jungle he kept things? No. No, I don't, I don't think so. I, I don't... Actually, over the last few months, remember I mentioned Nick has been going out a lot to that old fishing shack his family owns? I know the one. I went there with Nick and Bug a few times. 
He went mostly in the evenings. Most nights, really. Said he was night fishing. But if he was secretly using it as a second office... It'd be worth taking a look. Your father called. Said there'd been a break-in? Couldn't they have gotten here two minutes ago? They'll arrest me if they found Dennis's body. You go out the back. I'll talk to Bess and keep her busy. If you're sure, I'll go to the fishing shack. It sounds like if Nick was hiding something, it might be there. I'm sorry! I was just in the bathroom. Be right out. Go! Nick's fishing shack. A lot of memories here. Good memories. Anna said he'd been sneaking off here to work on something. I almost hope I don't find anything. Nick, what were you up to? Joan rides this bike everywhere. 
which is impressive with how far away everything is out here. But what's it doing here? I remember teaching Bug how to roast marshmallows. Hers turned out great. Mine were always burnt. You know, fishing's a lot like life. Practice, patience, and perseverance hooks you the big one. Dad, not everything is a life lesson. <laughs> Actually, I was talking to Muley here. Oh, that's fine. He's got a lot to learn. You know, I'm better at fishing and life than you are. <laughs> Whatever you say, Muley. Aw, worms are so cute. You sure are, bud. Can you hook me another one? Can't catch a fish without bait. Um, I, I uh, I don't want to hurt it. Come on, it's just a worm. Here, a bug. Just hand them over and I'll bait it. No! I'd be an accomplice then! Don't worry about it. The point of fishing isn't to catch anything anyways. Bug? Muley? How did you... Does my mom know? Does your mom know what? What is this? Mom doesn't know. Good. I've decided to leave town. Bug, that's... This is not a good idea. I've got food for five days. I'll hitchhike and bike down to Virginia. Do you have any idea how far that is? About 80 miles to get down to my Aunt Lisa. My mom hates her. Don't try to stop me. You can't leave like this. Not without telling anyone. <laughs> oh yeah? Why not? That's what you did. She's serious about this. Careful, Sam. This is not a drill. Maybe try to bring up her mother again. You should at least call your mom. My mom? She's hardly even there. She's always so... Plus, I know what she'll say. Calm down, think of the common good. She doesn't do anything, just sits around, takes her back pain pills, and stares at the TV like a lump. Well, that was a miss. When it comes to this kid, your instinct is better than mine. The mother, though, we should have a talk with her later. Look. I'm not a child anymore. I'm not asking for your permission. There's nothing for me here. Leaving is gonna hurt the people you care about the most. The way I left was selfish. You're not selfish. The Joan I knew couldn't even hurt a worm, let alone her own mother. I... It's not like I want to hurt her. She just works all the time, and then she's too out of it. And never listens to me. I think I'm done depending on others. My dad I could rely on. But he's gone. There's nothing else for me around here. I was wrong yesterday. She's not in denial, she's scared. Something terrible happened to him, but no one listens to me, no one cares. I care. I believe you and I'm investigating like you asked. I know, people at the wake got upset at you over it. Yeah, they did not like me bringing that up, but Nick was my friend. 
I want to know what happened to him. I care about that, but I also care about keeping you safe. I know you're doing your best. It's just this town, you know? It just feels like it grinds you down. It's choking me, and I need fresh air. I need some place I can think, not here. Sounds like Basswood really failed this kid. I mean, what am I supposed to do tomorrow? Or the day after? In ten years? You ever consider journalism? You have a mind for investigation. Um, isn't it kind of dying? Yeah, that's what makes it beautiful. Fighting to bring people truth in a world that doesn't care about it. <laughs> kind of sounds like you really want to be a journalist. Look, I don't know if you're trying to make me stay, or make me into you, or my father. You're just telling me what I want to hear, or what you think I want to hear. I just want the truth, for once, from someone. I'm wasting my time here with you. Bug. Don't touch me! I'm sick of you, I'm sick of this town, and so I'm going! And you can't stop me! Sam, we have to do something. She just wants honesty. She doesn't care about bullshit. I can relate to that. I'll tell her what we found out about Nick's death. You can't do that. You're the adult. She's the child. Do you want her to start looking for the people who killed her father by herself? Do the responsible thing. Make her stay. It's for her own good. father didn't die in that crash. Someone killed him and covered it up, made it look like an accident. Now, I don't know who did it yet or why. That's why I came here. That was maybe too much, Sam. She's a kid. I was right? You were right. I need you to not tell anyone, though. I won't. I won't tell anyone. Not even my And mom. I need you to stay at home. I will. I'm gonna go home right now. Thank you, Sam. I don't know if that was a good idea. <sighs> Me neither. But hey, it worked. Now that I've kept your daughter from skipping town, Let's see if you've kept anything hidden out here, Nick. <laughs> Joan always liked bugs. Back when Nick and Kathy were college sweethearts. <laughs> Clearly Bug was there too. We used to talk about how hunting was cruel. How much did you change, Nick? This is where he kept the rods he'd loan out. So what's his favorite rod doing here? He always kept it separate. <sighs> Locked. Nick always kept a spare key. It'd be somewhere out of Bug's reach. Don't see the keys. It was probably too obvious a spot. No keys. It's also not the best place if you wanted him to stay hidden. Bug never was the social type. Just like me. With Nick gone, I guess we both lost our best friend. He always kept his favorite rod in this special ready-to-go bag to protect it. What were you hiding in this bag that's so important you had it locked up? Nick wasn't the type to remember passwords. He probably left himself a reminder. <laughs> I 
What a fishy hiding spot. Nick wasn't the type to remember passwords. He probably left himself a reminder. Like many people, Nick kept a few guns, but never at home and always locked up. An article by Anna about a place called The Cove. Seems it's kind of a commune for outcasts just outside of Basswood. Nick was trying to find ways to get Joan in college. It's gotten so expensive. A prescription for opioids with Kathy's name on it? These are pretty heavy-duty painkillers. Very addictive. Joan wasn't just acting up. Kathy has a problem. Has to be the same D he was talking to in his emails. Looks like some kind of reminder Nick left for himself. A reminder of what? All right, I think I went through everything here. Wrong combination. Knowing Nick, maybe he left a hint lying around the shack. Just gotta figure out the connection between Nick's note and this law. <sighs> Doesn't work. There must be something I'm missing.
see what we have here. That's a lot of cash. More than Nick could make in a decade. Opioids. From D? Nick, were you looking into drug trafficking? Nick was gathering at the cove, and that's how he found his informant, D. It's the person he met the night he died. I just need to figure out who it is. Nothing suggests that this is D. I don't think this is D either. Richard, AKA Dickie, AKA D. Looks like I found who I was looking for. So that's what it was. Nick suspected a drug ring flourished here in Basswood after the mine closed. He had an informant, Dickie. Probably a low-level drug dealer, and he also had a lot of cash on hand. More than a reporter should. Dickie set up a meeting with Nick, and now Nick's dead. Dickie may be the only person who knows what really happened. I need to find him. He lives at this place, The Cove. Or he did. Anna wrote that article on it. She has to know where it is. <laughs> Bess barely asked about the break-in. She seemed more focused on your fight with Dennis. I'm on top of the suspect list. Or at least I would be if I was her. Bess said I should call her if I found you. She believes you're dangerous. You were right back at the Basswood jungle. I think we're on our own. They'll try to arrest me now. We have to find Dickie. I can't let Joan down. I'm sure Dickie's still there. He had no other place to go. What are you two doing? The longer you run from the police, the worse it'll be when they catch up with you. Explain everything. Show them all you- That makes sense. The Cove is a wonderful place. A sort of commune. Lynette who runs it, she lets anyone in who follows her rules. No real questions asked. It's mostly filled with desperate people, though. Recovering junkies, ex-gang members, and you'll need to be extra careful. Some of them used to work at the mine. So, how should we handle finding Dickie? You and I are gonna figure something out together. Don't worry. Or worry a little. Just not a ton. <laughs> oh, trust me. I'm worried a ton. Just not a shit ton. We just need to be careful, and look out for each other. This town has like 17 people in it. You've met the killer. I'm not saying you have to run and hide. Just be careful about the lion's den. You have options here. Real life isn't as clear as the world in your head. 
Just know the more you poke around, the more likely the world pokes back. And whoever is involved in all this, they poke real hard. If that even makes any sense. That's rough. That's rough? Were you even listening to me? Uh, mostly. Mostly. Sam, what is with you? Because you've got this. Easy. Look at you. So together. You got so drunk, you've forgotten anything that could have been remotely useful. Your friends are turning up dead. That's not fair. Shut up. Sam. I... Sorry. I didn't... I just... I didn't mean it that way. Don't. Don't take all of this out on me. So you're just going to keep telling me off? Disregard my advice? Well, if you think you know better, Sam, no reason for me to linger. <laughs> Enjoy your little investigation without me, Sam. Don't get us killed, okay? Here. This is the cove. Huh? Get your head on straight. The cove. We're here. Right. 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 Sure you want to keep going? Yeah, I'm I'm fine. I'm fine. You're sure? You can rest in the car while I ask around. I'll manage. Don't worry about me. Who the hell are you? Anna, what are you doing here? Tyler, you look healthy. You ain't the only one surprised I'm still alive. Who's the narc? I'm Sam. Was I talking to you? This is Sam. He's a friend. Yeah, lucky for him or I'd have thrown his ass out already. So what are you two here for? It's a long story. We'd like to have a word with Dickie. Have you seen him? <sighs> What'd he do now? Look, just talk to Lynette. She makes the calls on her land. Thank you. Really. Yeah, I know. Is he always like this? Uh, he's pretty much the gatekeeper around here. Interviewed him last time I came by. I'm gonna talk to Lynette. She's kind of in charge. I'll go see what I can find. Okay, but be careful. People only end up here if they have nothing left to lose. <laughs> <laughs> 